Hello, my beautiful Capricorn Dragons. Welcome to your June readings. I've already dealt out cards just to save time. So let's see what we have here. So we have here and now orphaned and never ending story. Hmm. I feel like you're sort of going through something and you feel like it's never going to end. Some sort of sense of a, 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 like something that's left you feeling abandoned. Um, maybe you tried to take a chance on another relationship and another or take a chance on a relationship again. And, um, and it happened again. That's, that's what I just heard in my head. It happened again. And my only thing to say to you is if this has happened, and this is my advice, this is not coming from spirit, is to see the red flags. And look at, you even have a red flag on this picture, right? Here and now, there's the red flag. I think you need to see the red flags in whatever situation this is. And you need to make sure that you do put an end to this story. Let's see what the cards have to say to you. see what's come out and it's sort of this trail so and I know a lot of cards came out so let me just see what these say so you have the ace of swords in reverse the ace of wands in reverse and the nine of pentacles yeah you thought that something was gonna be like new and happy and you'd be fruitful and taking things but you have your two aces in reverse and it's just like something has not happened there might be chaos, confusion, um, a lot of stress. Um, and I hear like, and, and the Ace of Wands is also about rejection, right? Like, it, and it's just like, and what I'm seeing here is like, it's like, the never ending story. It's the cycle. Yeah. There's something in your energy that is stealing your power. There's someone or something in your energy that is stealing your power. They're not letting you be with you. Um, yeah, all I can, all I keep hearing is see the red flags, see the red flags. Capricorn, what have you gotten yourself into? We have the Ten of Swords. Oh, so this is encouraging you make a clean break. Okay. Um, the Ten of Swords is also about being at rock bottom. And so you're sort of in the desert and you're trying to look ahead. You're trying to look up. Um, I feel like you're, you're at it sort of a breaking point. It could be a divorce. Um, could be sort of like quitting a job or something, but there are complete red flags here in this, this, it's not gonna, unless you end it, it's not going to end. So, cause look, this is a 10, this is a 10. Oh, guys. So what we have down in this lower energy is the fool in reverse and the emperor in reverse. You have somebody who is, um, they might be a risk taker and stuff, but they think you're naive. They have you in their sort of grasp. Yeah. Three of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. You are going to, and this is separate, you're going to realize this and you're going to break free from the mind games that they played with you. They've turned you upside down mentally. But Three of Swords in reverse, I love this. So Three of Swords is seeing what you did. Okay, I'm not blaming you. Bear with me. It's about seeing what you did. Um, to allow them to continue to do this to you. And sometimes it's just that you're too good of a person and that you need to create boundaries, right? There's that red flag. That's all I see in this reading is this red flag. But you're going to see it and you're going to overcome it because they, they don't think that you have it in you to do it. So they're just going to keep going. It's what they do. And if they don't do it with you, they're going to find somebody else and they're going to do it with them. So it's up to you to fix this, okay? Oh, Capricorn. Now, if this isn't one person, you might be going through this cycle with random people because you haven't 
set the boundary, right? You keep giving people the benefit of the doubt. And, um, you know, what is that, that saying? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? So after one time, you should know better, right? So let's see. Is there anything else for Capricorn? This is a really straightforward reading, guys. So I know sometimes I get comments and it's just like, why are some readings longer than the other? And it's like, because this was very clear. Oh, just a second. I had a card that fell. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. So <laughs> this person in the past or the situation that repeats itself, heartbreak, right? Five of... Um, cups in reverse, you're recovering and hoping that it's going to change. And all they do is keep creating chaos, right? This is all this is, right? So you need to turn this five, right? Upright and actually move on. Okay. So this is in reverse and it does mean moving on in forgiveness, but then the chariot was here blocking it. So this, it, it's like this ongoing thing right? It's, it's sort of like a cycle of abuse. Look, look up the wheel if you don't know what that is and see, because this is exactly what I'm getting. And either, uh, this is with one person and they, they know what they're doing. <laughs> they really do. Or, um, or you don't realize that you need to set some boundaries for yourself. And it's just because you're a good person. Okay. So it's not, don't not be a good person. Continue being a good person. The world needs you but you need to have boundaries so that these people, and there's a lot of them, stop taking advantage, okay? You need to unbreak your heart. You need to take those swords out and stitch it together, okay? You can do it, Capricorn. That's your reading. Please do like and subscribe. Um, leave me comments, and I will see you in your next reading. You can do this.